What's up everybody, this is Jay with Why Aim Gaming, here to bring you my first episode of my Walking Dead review. Now, what I'm going to be doing in my Walking Dead review is talking about the last episode that we saw, talking about things that are going to be coming up in the next episode, and things from the comic books that kind of tie in to what's going on in the show. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Jay. Some people call me Jason, some people call me Your Ass Is Mine. Whatever you want to call me, that's fine. But I hope that you're here to enjoy just somebody talking about something he likes. Now, I really am passionate about The Walking Dead. I've watched every episode multiple times. I've read every comic book up to date. So I know what I'm talking about when I can sit here and tell you what's going on. So you can trust me and you can believe my opinion. So thanks for stopping by. If you're not a subscriber of mine... Hey, be sure to subscribe while you're here, especially if you enjoy it. Drop a like on this video. It helps me out a lot. So, with that being said, let's get right into episode 10 of season 5. What do we have here? People mourning the loss of Tyrese. Now, I for one am kind of glad that Tyrese is gone. I didn't think Tyrese was a very solid character. He definitely did not live up to the character of the comic books. Now, that being said, he had his moments, but he was real soft. Eh, just wasn't, he wasn't the strong football player kill anything that he was in the comic books, and therefore, I thought that he needed to go, and I was kind of glad that he left. But people were mourning that, and they're also still mourning the loss of poor innocent Beth. Now, as far as mourning the loss of Beth, you saw Maggie kind of breaking down there for a while. You get to see Daryl break down, sitting up next to a tree, even putting the cigarette out on his finger. I don't know. Here's my thoughts on that. I think he was just trying to tell himself that he's still alive, that it still goes on. You know, and by him actually burning himself, maybe he's saying, you know, I can feel this. I'm still there. I'm still alive. You know, might as well keep going. But he was in a bad spot there for a while, kind of wandering off on his own. Didn't want people to uh, really associate with him. Now, Maggie. I thought, thought for a second we might get to see the hanging scene from the comic books. For those of you that have not read the comic books, spoiler alert. <laughs> if you have read it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, in the comics, after uh, Herschel gets killed, her family dies. Uh, she hangs herself from a tree. Uh, they find her, cut her down, and she's okay. Now, I thought we were going to see that in the very beginning. She was leaning up against that tree. They even kind of hinted at that in a promo with her leaning up against that tree. Thought that's what we were going to see, but we did not, and she did pull through. So, it's good to see by the end of the episode that Maggie kind of turned it around and was doing a lot better. She seemed to be a lot stronger. Sasha, uh, mourning the loss of Bob, who was eaten by the termites. Mourning the loss of her brother Tyrese, even though she says at one point in time in the episode that she is not like him. She never was and never will be. Now, I don't know if that's just kind of a, you know, her defense mechanism for when she's feeling pain inside, or if that's just how they wanted it to be portrayed. I think the actor did a great job of pulling that role off. Now, most of you know Sasha is obviously not a character from the comics. But I think she's going to take the place of a couple of characters kind of combined in there. And that's what we're going to see with her later on down the road. We'll have to see how it plays out once they get where they're going. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Now, next character. We see Rick. We see Eugene. We see Abraham. Everybody is there. Carol. Carol giving Daryl the kiss on the forehead. That was kind of like mom kissing you goodbye, you know? I mean, a lot of people want to put those two together, and, I, you know, whatever, man. I could care less about the relationships in the show, man. Let's just see some action. And for this episode, there was not a lot of action. There was the one scene by the bridge where the whole crew was just kind of worn out. They're beat up. They don't know what they're going to do next, and they're just trying to feed these walkers over the side of the bridge using as little energy as possible. When Sasha goes all rogue and starts killing them. And I thought, now, somebody back me up on this. 
I thought that her knife cut Abraham on the arm. Now, if that's the case, and her knife cut Abraham on the arm after she killed some walkers, would he not get infected? Go back and watch. You'll see what I'm talking about during that bridge scene. It looks like there's a little spot of blood on Abraham's uh, left arm right there where her knife may have hit him. Now, she also almost killed Michonne in that, and you saw Michonne really stand up and be like, stop, you know, you need to get out of here. Basically saying, you're going to get us all killed by the way you're acting. I don't know. Whatever. Now, next part. So we're moving on along, and they find this water in the middle of the road. It says, from a friend. They're all kind of huddling around it. Don't know what to do. Rick says, hey, we're not going to take a drink of this. It could be poisoned, which I completely understand. And I had a big debate about this with my wife. My wife was saying she would take the water. She would take a drink. And I said, yeah, but you can't trust anybody in this world. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't know if, say, he's got a group somewhere. And he's just trying to poison you. Maybe that's all they want to do anyway. Is just kill your group off. They see that your group's strong. They see that your group's tough. But they also see that you're kind of struggling along. And this would be the thing that maybe puts you over. And they're like, hey, we can kill them with our kindness. So water could have been poisoned. Eugene goes to take a drink. Almost taking one for the team. And just as he's about to take a drink, Abraham slaps out of his hand. Now what that tells me is that Everything they've been through, Abraham still has a little bit of care in his heart for a poor old Eugene, even though he lied to him. Now, I think that's just because Abraham kind of feels that he still has to protect Eugene in a way, because that's his mission, and you know he's a very mission-driven man. If he doesn't have something to do, some reason to do something, he's one of those people that can fall apart very quickly. And if you witness that in the comic books, you'll know what we're talking about there. Now, moving on along, it starts to rain as soon as they're at the water bottles. And it's like the greatest thing ever. But then they realize this is a major thunderstorm there that's on top of them. Daryl says, hey, there's a barn over here. That's where he, you know, burned himself with a cigarette. They all head to this barn. And there's a good little talk there by Rick Grimes where he mentions the whole we are the walking dead. Now that story alone was pretty good. It was very uh, very passionate, very emotional in the moment. But I don't think the other characters bought it. I think the other characters were like, no. As you could hear Daryl say, no, we're not them. We're not them. I kind of get what he's saying there, but I also understand what Rick was saying. He's like, you got to keep going. Every day you're dead. So you got to make it to the next day. Because if you don't, you are dead. That's just my thoughts on that whole little scene right there. I thought it played out quite well. I thought it was well done by the actors. In a slow episode, I thought that was one of the better scenes of the episode. So we go on a little bit in time. Daryl hears a noise. The wind is blowing on the door. The chain that they have on the door is getting stretched taut. He runs over there and sees a ass ton of walkers coming his way. He's like, fuck! Fuck. So he starts pushing on the door and holding it. Soon Maggie sees what's going on. She helps him hold the door. And then Sasha, and then so on and so on and so on and so on. And until everybody in the barn is holding on to that door to try and keep it closed. You hear the storm raging outside. You hear the wind picking up. What's going on? One other thing I wanted to backtrack on a little bit there I kind of missed out on. Father Gabriel. When they're sitting around and they're eating the dogs that come out to try and attack them. Takes his collar off. His priest collar. Throws it in the fire. Kind of like saying, you know, come on God. What else? He's giving up his faith right there. But then when the rain comes, he says, please forgive me. Are we seeing a changed man in Father Gabriel? Is he going to pick up a hatchet and actually kill something? Or is he just going to remain to be this weak individual that we cannot depend on who can do nothing but kind of stand around and get in the way? Because that's the way I kind of feel about his character right now is he's just standing around and getting in the way. 
All right, moving on. So next morning, we wake up. Maggie wakes up first. Daryl's still sitting on the end. She tells Daryl he needs to get some rest. I guess he was taking the watch at that time. And then Daryl says he fixed the music box that that Carl had given her a little earlier. So she takes the music box. She walks over to Sasha and wakes her up. Asks her to come with her. They walk outside and you can see devastation. Tornado hit. Shit everywhere. Trees everywhere. All hell had broken loose. The tornado had apparently gone through. Walkers are just strewn everywhere. Some good, good walker makeup in some of those. And they go and they sit down. And Sasha's like, why are we here? And they're just sitting out over a field. Watching the sunrise. Beautiful scene. Maggie pulls out the music box. She says, Daryl fixed it. Opens it up. It doesn't work. As they set the music box down on the ground, a man walks around the side. Who is this man? Well, besides the fact he looked like he came out of an Abercrombie catalog, that's Aaron. Those of you who have read the comic books know exactly who Aaron is. I'm not going to give too much away on who he is and what he does, but let's talk about him showing up. So he shows up. He says he's a friend, says he's from a community, and wants to speak with their leader, Rick. So what this tells them is that he's the guy that put the water down first off. He's been spying on them long enough to know that Rick is the leader of the group. So that's got to throw caution out immediately. It's like, whoa, this guy's been watching us. What in the fuck are we going to do? Well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to trust this dude. And then, you know, the episode ends. So now here's my thoughts on what we're going to see in the next episode. Now we got our little sneak peek at the end. You know, here's a preview of what's coming in episode 11. And we also got to see some in the end of The Talking Dead. Now, basically what we're going to see is they're going to take him back to Rick. There's going to be an interrogation. Now, they have good reason not to trust Aaron. But I'm going to go ahead and throw out some spoilers. Because that's what I do. Spoilers. Everybody likes a good spoiler every once in a while. Even my wife, who hasn't read the comic books, wanted to know who this guy was and what he meant. To the whole grand picture of things. Now he is a major player. Later on down the line. This guy is going to be around for a while. So he is a good man. But. Do they play it that way in the show? That's the difference here. A lot of things in the comic book. Don't happen in the show. A lot of things in the show. Didn't happen in the comic book. It goes back and forth. So. Aaron could be a good guy in the comic book. Well he is a good guy in the comic books. In the show, he could potentially be a bad guy. He could be leading them astray. He could be taking them back somewhere where they will be killed. Of course, we know that's probably not going to happen because he wasn't in the show like this. Let's just hope that our favorite villain is coming up soon. With that being said, episode 11, I think what we're going to get is an interrogation by Rick and the crew of Aaron to find out what is going on and then making their way to where Aaron says is his group. Now, I don't know if this episode is going to be a fast episode where they get there in that episode or if it's going to be another slow episode like we had this week where they make it a couple of miles and there's a lot of turmoil in those two miles. I personally like to see action. I don't like these more boring episodes. If I was to give this one a rating on a 1 to 10 scale, I'd say it was about a 6. It had some good moments. It had some heartfelt moments. But action-wise, it just wasn't that good. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. I'm going to be doing these every week. I don't care what y'all say in the comments. I'm going to do it because I enjoy doing this stuff. So if you liked it, please let me know. Say something down in the comments if you want to say something about the show. Check out some of my other videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of personal format right here. 
And I will see y'all on the next one. Later, folks.